progress. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Hello. Ah, okay. So is it going? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, I'm, thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for asking. Welcome. How was your day? How was your day today? Um, very nice. Very nice, it was a very nice day. Ah, okay. Day. Thank right. you for God. <laughs> Ah, thanks God. Okay, thank God. Yes, that was thanks God. Day. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? I'm fine. In my house. Fine. In my house. Oh, you stay at home. You stay at home. Okay, welcome to this class. And it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you for your punctuality, Maria, Noemi, Wendy, Emerita, Erika, Luis, eh, Mariel Lopez, Julia Nunez, Brian Steve, and Adriana Guerra. Thank you very much for being here with me tonight. So the last class we were studying, do you remember the topic of the last class? What was the topic? Do you remember the last class? WH work. WH work. WH question. With the verb to be, con el verbo to be. Tonight, we are going to start a, a topic, which is the simple present. Uh, the simple present. The, we use the simple present to speak about scheduled daily activities and routines. We are going to use the simple present to speak about that, right? Eh, horarios, actividades que hacemos todos los, dia todos los días, ¿verdad? Rutina diaria. Eh, we're going to use the simple present to speak about that. So, but let me ask you something before to start. Eh, do you have any question, any problems eh, working on the platform? No, teacher. No? No, for me it's okay. Okay, thank you, Luis. Someone has a problem? Someone has a problem on the platform exercises? Me, it's okay, también. Ah, okay. So in which section are you working on? Can you tell me? In which section are you working? Who is working in section number one? Is section number two? No yet? No han comenzado la sección número dos todavía? Ya la terminé. No, teacher. Ah, okay. Congratulations then. Erika Alejandra has already finished section number two. Okay, very good. Congratulations, Erika. Finish, teacher. Section number two. Okay, Sara Guzmán, too. Congratulations. Very good. You have already. Thank finished. you. The section number two. Very good. Okay. I finished number three, teacher. In the group, I am reading here that you have a problem. Is it Margarita and Carla? Are you in the class? Margarita and Carla. They have a problem in one exercise. Mm. And look the is on the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, yes. Okay, I'm going to help them after the class. So let's start with today's topic. So here we go. If you don't have any question, any problem with the platform, let's start with today, with today class. The topic for today is this one. Let me show you. 
Here we go. I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks yes, a lot. So, how do you spend your day? How do you spend your day? This question is in simple present. How do you spend your day? ¿Qué actividades hace durante su día? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que realiza durante el día? Well, How do you spend your day? Me. Noemi. Ok, Noemi, tell me. Um, I uh, take a shower at the seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I brush my teeth. I have a breakfast. Um, I have a lunch. Mm. Uh, I'm go to to my work. I am go to bed. I am sleep. Ah, okay. Thank you, Naomi <laughs> Alicia. Very good. You do a lot of activities during your day, right? So you say, I take a shower, I have a breakfast, I have lunch, I go to work, and then I go to, to sleep, right? Very good. So how do you spend your day, right? Probably you work the whole day, right? So you say, I work, I yes. work, or I study. You are studio and you I, I study. study. Thank you. So, thank you, Naomi. Very good. Thank you. That was excellent. Okay, we're going to start with this small conversation tonight. And the question is, where do you work? Where do you work? What is the meaning of this question? Where do you work? Donde trabajas. Okay, very good. So where do you work? What is a good answer for this question? So it's an information question, right? So you have to give information, the place where you work. So where do you work, Luis? Um, I work in my business. Ah, okay, because, I work at uh, my own business. At okay. my, yes, own business. Okay, excellent. Because I have a cow and product milk. Ah, okay, you produce dairy products, dairy products. Like cheese, yes. milk, cream, sour cheese. Yes. Ah, okay, very interesting, Luis. And Emerita, where do you work? I don't work. Okay, actually, I don't work. Uh, do you study? I study. Yes, I study in English Corporation. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Emerita. Very good. Now let's listen to this conversation. It's a conversation between Jason and Andrea. The topic of the conversation uh, this time is where do you work? So pay attention to this question, where do you work? And also the answer. So here we go. We are going to listen to this. And then we're going to practice this conversation. So pay attention, please, to the pronunciation and the intonation of the equation. And then we're going to practice. So here we go. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Where? Can you listen? Yes. 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 Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. 
Do you have any question about vocabulary in this conversation? Any new work? Any new work for you in this conversation? So Jason says, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Jason, oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. It's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? So look at this question. And what do you do? ¿Y qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas tú? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. That is the name of the restaurant. So pay attention to these two words, right? Where do you work? And also, what do you do? What do you do there? And even on to practice in this small conversation, if you don't have any question about the vocabulary, we can practice in this conversation. Any volunteer tonight? Me, teacher. Me, teacher, Emerita. Thank you, Emerita. Okay, let's listen, Oscar and Emerita. Oscar, you are going okay. to be Jason, and Emerita, you are going to be Andre. You okay. Start, right? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Travel. No. Oh, really? What do you there? I guy, I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time to out me bloqueo el cuadro. Nuevamente, I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, thank you. Thank you very much, Emerita. Thank you, Oscar, that was excellent. Thank you. Perfect. So yes, this expression, how interesting, how interesting. It's like to say, que interesante. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. Si es un trabajo grandioso. I love it. Uh, do you love your work? Aman su trabajo? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do yes, you love I your do. job? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Very I good. love it. Okay. That's nice, Luis. So that is great. Any other two volunteers to practice in this small conversation? Me, teacher. Thank you, Luis. And Margarita Lisette. Luis and Margarita. Okay. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do then? I have a I take people on tours to the country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. With restaurant. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you very much. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was an excellent job. Thank you. Let's go with this. Let's practice these two questions. Where do you work? Uh, it's asking for a place. The place where you work. Where do you work? Uh, look at this answer. I work at. We're going to use this to answer this question. I work at Al's Pizza. What do you do there? I'm a waiter. I serve the food to, to customers. So where do you work? Any volunteer to answer this question? Where do you work? So we're going to answer with the name of the company in which we work. So where do you work? 
I wore a Cajutla custom. Okay, very good. I wore it a Cajutla. A Cajutla custom. Okay. okay, any other answer? Thank you, Margarita Lisa. Where do okay. you work? Any other answer? Where do you work? I work at uh, milk production. Okay, very good. Any other answer? Where do you work? The name of the place in which you work. I work at. I work. I work yeah. at Universidad Evangelica de El Salvador. Okay, excellent, excellent answer. Thank you. I work at uh, Universidad Evangelica del Salvador. Nice. Any other answer? Where do you work? I work at Desagro. Okay, excellent. Very good. I work at Desagro. So here is the name of the place in which we work. Now the question is, what do you do there? What do you do there? ¿Cuáles son sus responsabilidades ahí? ¿Qué hace ahí? What do you do there? Which are your activities there? So you say here, I am a doctor, I am an engineer, I am a chef, I am a, what, a waiter in this case. What do you do there? I am, I am assistant de la área clínica. Okay, it's like a, something like that. And, uh, Any other answer? What do you do there? I am a manager teacher. Okay, very good. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the manager, okay? Excellent. So here we are going to answer this question with the activities that we do in that company, right? Uh, I'm a waiter, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, I am a flight attendant. Uh, which other uh, profession and occupation do you remember? Can you tell me some of them? Occupation and profession, do you remember some of them? Um, no. Chef. Chef is one. Engineer. Secretary. Fly attendant. Engineer, secretary. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Policeman. Can you please repeat? Policeman. No, oh, policeman. Teacher. Teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay. Keeping, keeping mind this question, right? Where do you work and what do you do there? Right. In the question, um, what do you do? What do you do? A qué se dedica usted? What do you do? What is your profession? What is your occupation? What do you do? Me, teacher. I'm secretary and assistant of two administrators. Si se dice administradores? Yes. Or managers? Managers, two managers. Mm -hmm. I am oh. a secretary and assistant of two managers. Okay, very good. So what do you do? This is the question. What do you do? Let's change the color here. Okay, hey, teacher. what do you do? Yes? Hey, teacher. Ah, oh, you're a teacher. Okay, here we say, I am. I am a teacher. Teacher. I'm a secretary. Anyone? Any other answer? What do you do? What is your occupation? What is your profession? What do you do? Is correct housewife. Okay, I am a housewife. Any other profession or occupation? Um, 
I am a business administration. Administration. Okay. And marketing. Okay, very good. So we answer this question uh, with our profession, right? What do you do? So you say, I am. I am a teacher, yeah. I am a secretary, I am a police officer, I am a pilot, I am a baker, I am a chef. So do you have any question with this? Do you have any question with this topic? With these three questions, where do you work? What do you do and what, what do, do you, you do, do there? Let me know if you have a question. Not in this moment, no question in this moment. Okay, if you don't have any question, let's go with the next thing here. Let's see. Look at this. Here are the question and also the answer. Here we have the first question. Any volunteer to read the first question? Okay, teacher. Thank you. What do you do? Okay, thank you, Luis. The answer is I'm a student and I have a part-time job. ¿A qué te dedicas? Soy un estudiante y tengo un trabajo de... What is a part-time job? Medio tiempo. Medio tiempo. Yes, thank you. It's a medio tiempo. I am a student. I have a part-time job. Oh, the next question. Anyone here to read the other question? Help me, help me. Teacher, Alejandra. Thank you, Alejandra. Tell me. Where do you work? Excellent. Where do you work? I work at... As you can see here, we can use all, at or in to answer this question. I work at a restaurant. Teacher, I can hear you. Okay, let me check which microphone is on. Is Luis and Wendy, but they aren't producing any sound. So can you listen now? Can you listen now? Yes, yes it hurt. Yes, okay. it hurt. Yes. Okay. Let's continue then. So where do you work? I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. You can use both in this case. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. This is in case you are studying. In case you are studying, so where do you go to school? Uh, where does Andrea work? This is the third person. In la tercera persona, we're going to use does. The auxiliary does to make the equation. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? Look at this question. How does she like it? It's like, ¿qué tanto le gusta su trabajo? ¿Qué tanto le gusta el trabajo a ella? How does she like it? And the answer in this case is she loves it. She loves it. Ella ama su trabajo. So let's listen these examples. We are going to listen this example. And then we are going to practice this. Just give me a second. Here we go. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Okay. Do you have any question? Any new work in these examples? 
Okay, here we go. Uh, Guadalupe, can you please help me? Reading the questions. And then let me see. Wendy, Wendy Arely Serrano, can you please help me reading the answers? So here we go. You can start. What do you do? You hear me? Hello, Wendy. Where's Wendy? Hello, Wendy. Can you listen us? Ah, but she has problem with her microphone. Hey, Margarita, do you have a question? No, participar si Wendy no puede. Ah, ok, help, help us, please. Eh, creo que Wendy no tiene activado su micrófono. Yo sí le escuché. Igual yo también lo escuché. Pero es mínimo. Sí se le escucha, okay. pero es bastante, bastante suave. Okay, Wendy, thank you very much. We're going to wait, right? And maybe the next, uh, in the next exercise, you can help us. She is trying to fix her microphone. I can see her. I can see her trying to fix it. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear yeah. you. So can you help okay. us with the answer, please? Okay, I am a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She is today. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Thank you very much. That was perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, we're going to have a breakup room practice. You are going to practice these three equations. Uh, look at this. You are going to write to practice these three equations. What do you do and where do you work? And where do you go to school? ¿Quién es un estudiante? Who is studying here? Who is studying? Me Instead teacher. of English Corporativo? Me, Me teacher. Ah, okay. So where do you go to school? Me. Where do you go to school? What is the name of your school? So you say, I go to... I, I go to the University of El Salvador. Okay, excellent. I go to the University of El Salvador. Any other answer? Where do you go to school? Any other answer? Help me answer this question. So we are going to practice these three equations. What do you do? Where do you work? And if you like your work. But, so we are going to make the groups right now. So the question is, what do you do? Where do you work? I will give you a minute for you to copy this question. Right? And you are going to discuss them in groups. What do you do? Where do you work? And where do you go to school? Let me know if you're ready, please. Let me know when you're ready. Remember that the answer for this question, what do you do is your profession, right? A que se dedica, que hace? So I am a student, I am a teacher, 
I am a chef and a police officer. I am a worker in a factory. I am an engineer. Where do you work? The place in where you work. I work at the airport. I work in a restaurant. I work in a hospital. I work in a, what? In a factory. So I work in a big company. And where do you go to school? The name of the place in which you are studying. So are you ready? Hello guys, are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. Yes. Because these three questions are classmates. <clears throat> Hello, sir, I do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room? Sarai Navarro, do you have a problem? Where do you go to school? Uh, I go to the University of Salvador. Okay. Okay. Uh, lo voy a preguntar a Carla. Okay. What do you do? I'm manager. Uh, where do you work? Uh, a little, a little um, drugstore. Uh, where do you go to school? I go to. Acá tengo un poquito de duda. Eh, Podemos contestar con referente a lo que estamos estudiando, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. ¿Qué sería? I go to English Corporation. Yes. Okay. Ahora usted pregunta, Carla. Okay. Um, Creo que el ICED dijeron, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. What do you do? ¿A mí? Uh, I, no sé I am... Ok. Es I ICED. Ah, no, es Guadalupe. Ah, bueno. Sí, pero Creo que somos seis. Sí, sí. Él no, no ha contestado. ¿Cuántos somos? Cuatro. Veo seis. Está... Ruth. Yeah. 
pregunto yo a usted. Sí, está bien. Bye. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to a school? I go to University of Texas. Oh. Ahora yo pregunto entonces. Uh, what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Okay. Finish? Did you finish? I think yes, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. So where does Adriana work? Look at this question. Where does Adriana work? Oh. Adriana ya respondió las preguntas. Do you remember where does Adriana work? Did you say she works at? Ella trabaja en, she works at. What teacher she works at Thomas Cook Travel. Um, ok, eh, no practicaron usando su información. No, no teacher. Ah, ok, ok, I understand now. Esta es la That's misma right. conversación. Ah, ok, that is perfect then. Okay. Okay. So see you in a minute with the rest of your classmate. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. It's difficult, but yes, uh, yes. but I I hope and call you find a good work because this this moment is very 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 difficult. Yes, for the hello. pandemia. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello teacher. Anna Rocio, how are you tonight? Hello. Bye. I am fine, teacher. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Lucio. Okay. I'm happy you're fine. So, did you finish practicing the questions and answers? Yes. 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 Okay. Just a question. Where does Alejandra work? Where does Alejandra work? Alejandra. Uh, she isn't work. Oh, he isn't work. Doesn't she, or isn't. Doesn't. Uh, she, she, doesn't. she doesn't. She doesn't. Excuse me. She doesn't work. She doesn't, doesn't work right now. Okay. Because right student? now she she look at look look at the 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 job. Oh, she's looking for a job. Okay. Yes. Okay, I hope that you find a job soon, right? In a very good job, right? In the one you are yes. very happy to I hope in God. Yes. Okay, so good luck. I hope you get a good Thank job. Thank you. Okay. Thank so, you, teacher. See you in a minute with the rest of
was your practice? How was your practice? Welcome again to the class. Did you finish? Everyone participate in the groups? Yes? Yes, I finished. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Just let's, uh, let's say a couple of questions. Let's see, for example, Oscar. Who was with Oscar? ¿Quién estuvo en el grupo de Oscar? Me. Me. Okay, where does Oscar work? Where does Oscar work? Work. He is chef. He is chef. chef. And a student. Oh, he is, he is a chef a and he is a student. He is a student. A study. Oh, he's a studying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, who were with Jose Luis? Who were with Jose Luis? Where does Jose Luis work? Where does Jose Luis work? He works in the uh, Dirección General de Aduanas. Ah, okay, thank you very much. So where does Rocio work? Where does Rocio work? Where does Carla Patricia work? Do you remember? Okay, let's see that question. Let's continue with the presentation here. Look at this. This is the question. Where does Luis work? Where does uh, Tamar work? Where does Margarita work? Then we are going to answer in this case. If it is uh, ella, we are going to say she works. She works at. If it is he, we are going to say he works at. A third person, right? In the simple present, the affirmative sentences uh, have a change in this. It has an inflection in this part. So look at this. I work, you work. But in third person, we say he works, she works. I take, you take. He takes, she takes. I study, you study. He studies, she studies. I teach, you teach, he teaches, she teaches. I do, you do, he does, she does. I go, you go, he goes, she goes. I have, you have, he has, she has. So we have this grammatical change in the third person. So look at the following words. Simple present WH. Okay. Do you know the meaning of these birds? Work, for example. What is the meaning of this bird? Okay. In this case, it's trabajar is the meaning of the verb work. And the other one, eat. What is the meaning of this bird? Eat. Comer. Comer. Play. What is the meaning of play? Jugar. Jugar. What is the meaning of swim? Nadar. What is the meaning of write? Escribir. Escribir. Okay, we have work, eat, play, swim, and write. Now, to this bird in the third person, we are going to ask just an S. In general, we are going to add an S to the birds. In general, solo agregamos esa S ¿verdad? a los verbos. Like this one. Work, works. Eat, eat. Play, plays. Swim, swims. Write, writes. But there, is, there exists some exceptions, like this one, for example, bird ending in consonant plus white. Los verbos que terminan en una letra consonante y después va una Y, this one. We are going to delete this. We are going to take of this white and we are going to add IES. So in this case, study, cry, try, spy, and fly. What is the meaning of study, for example? 
Estudiar. Estudiar. Try. Llorar. Try. Intentar. 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 Eh, vigilar o bueno, sí. espiar. Okay. Okay. Espiar en fly. Volar. 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 Okay. Now let's see. In third person, we are going to write in this way. Studies, tries, tries, spies, and flies. Right. Now let's go with the other exception. Bird ending in O is eight, C eight, X, S, S, and we are going to add this, E, S. Let's see, for example, go, wash, watch, meet, and kiss. So we are going to add this, this. In third person, we are going to use this. Go, goes, wash, washes, watch, watches, mix, mixes, kiss, kisses. So let's make a practice. Do you have an equation in this part? Just remember this, right? In general, to most of the verbs, we are going to add an S. But the verbs ending in consonant plus Y, we are going to take off the Y and we're going to add I, E, S. Bird with N in O is eight, C eight, X, S, S. We are going to add E, S to the bird in third person. So look at the following exercise. In this case, a mechanic. Mecánico repara carros. Fixes. Okay, so what is the right? We are going to add S, I, E, S, O, E, S to this verb. E, S, E, S, E, S. Okay. Okay, and the other one? Yes. Yes. What happened okay. here? <laughs> and the other one? Yes. 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 Okay. Oh. I don't know why I appear two at the same time. So look at this. A mechanic fixes cards. He watches soap yes. operas every afternoon. She kisses her husband before he goes to work. Let's see that one. Speak. Is. Speak. Yes, And the other one. Drinks. Drinks. And the other one. Drinks. Eight. 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 Very good. Eight. Thank you. Eight. Let's see in the other, in the rest of the sentences, the last three sentences. Yes. I E S. I E S. I -E -S. I -E -S. Studies. Crimes. Crimes. Denies. 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 Any volunteer to read the first three sentences? Who wants to try? Uh, by the way, what is so popular? What is the meaning of that? What is so popular? Telenovelas. Okay, telenovelas. Do you like so popular? No, I'm not. No, really? Do you like so popular? No. Do you like no. watching so popular? Yes, no. It's like. No. Ah, okay, I dislike watching soap operas. And what about this sentence? She kisses her husband before he goes to work. Do you do that every day? Sometimes. Oh, in your case, it's your wife, right? Do you kiss your wife before she goes to work? Then let's see the next one. She speaks three languages. He drinks coffee every morning. What about this sentence? Is true for you? Do you drink coffee every morning? Yes, yes. I do. Yes. yes, okay. And what about the next one? My cat hates my dog. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Yes, it's, it's true, true, teacher. 
Dog and cat aren't friends. I don't oh, have yeah. a cat. Teacher. No. Yeah. No, I, I don't have, have. I have three cats. Oh, wow. three cats. You love cats, I can see. And Kathy studies every night. What about you? Do you study every night? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. The baby cries all the time. Yes. It's yes. true. Yes, it's, it's true too. Yeah. It's true. The baby cries yes. all the time. Yes. And she denies it's all true. responsibility. Ella se desniega, ¿verdad? De toda responsabilidad. Ok, ¿any volunteer to read these three sentences? ¿Any volunteer? It's time Hi, teacher. To practice. Thank you, Luis. A mechanic fixes car. He watches soap opera every afternoon. She kisses her husband before he goes to work. Thank you very much. Choose one of your classmates, Luis. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Um, Ojar. Okay, Thank let's start. She speaks Greek language. He drinks coffee every morning. My cat hates my dog. That is study every night. Every night. The baby cries all the time. She then is all responsibility. Thank you very much. The night. The night. The night. The night. All responsibility. Thank you very much. Let's go over the next thing here. Uh, wait. Okay, negative statements. To make negative sentences or negative statements, we're going to need this structure. We are going to follow this structure. Subject. Auxiliary do plus not, contractados don't, verb plus complement. So look at this example. I don't work in a factory. You don't work on weekends. We don't work to work. They don't love their job. So negative sentences, right? I don't work in a factory. We are going to use don't to say no, right? I don't work in a factory. You don't work on weekends. We don't work to work. No caminamos el trabajo. And they don't love the job. Now, in third person, instead of don't, we are going to use doesn't. We are going to need a subject plus doesn't plus a verb in his basic form plus complement. He doesn't work in a hospital. She doesn't use a computer. It doesn't work fast. So negative sentences in third person, we are going to use doesn't. He doesn't work in a hospital. She doesn't use a computer and it doesn't work fast. Any question in this part? Do you have any question? Any volunteer to read this example? Any volunteer to read the example? Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. I don't work in a factory. You don't work on weekends. We don't work to work. They don't love their job. Thank you very much. Any volunteer to read the third person examples? Great teacher. Thank you, Luis. He doesn't work in a hospital. She doesn't use a computer. He doesn't work fast. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you. Very good job, Luis. Thank you, Wendy, too. You're welcome, teacher. Then let's go with the yes, no questions. So look at this. In yes, no questions, we are going to need this structure. Auxiliary do, subject, verb, complement, and the question mark. So do you work in a big company? So it's yes, no question. You have two options to answer this. 
Do you work in a big company? ¿Trabaja usted en una gran compañía? So, you say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. O, no, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. O, do we go to work by bus? Do we go to work by bus? Vamos al trabajo en bus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So you say yes, we do. Yes, no, we? Yes, we do. Yes, we No, we don't. No, we don't. Do they work hard? Do they work hard? Yes, they do. Yes, they do or no, they don't. Okay. Yes. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Okay, what is the right answer? For the question, do you work in a big company? Is this one, this one, or this yes. one? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, yes, I do. or no, I, do. I don't. Okay, is this one the right one? Yes, yes correct. I do. Yes. yes. Okay, and the other one, do no, we go to work by bus? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, yes, we do or no, we don't. And the other one, do they work hard? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So I need to volunteer to practice in this. Any two volunteers to practice? Me, sure, Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra and Julia. Alejandra, can you please read the question and Julia the answer? Choose one of okay. these answers. Negative or positive, right? Affirmative. Okay. Do you work in a big company? No, I don't. Do we go to work by bus? Uh, yes, we do. And do they work hard? Yes, they do. Okay, thank you. thank you. Let's go with the third person. In las terceras personas, we are going to need this. That's right. At the beginning of the sentence, we are going to follow this structure to make sentences in third person when we want to ask yes, no question. That's at the beginning of the sentence, subject, verb, complement, and the question mark. So look at this example. Does Lucia work at the supermarket? Does Lucia work at the supermarket? And does Edward work at the airport? Which would be a good answer for this question? Does Lucia yes, work? She does. She does. Okay. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. The other one is no, she doesn't. And for yes, one, yes, he does. He does. No. He yes, he do. Does. No, he does. Yes, he does. And yes, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Does. No, does 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 okay. No, he doesn't. Two volunteers. The last two volunteers to practice in this part. Who went? Who Mid wants teacher, to try? Merita. Thank you, Emerita and. Meet teacher, Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. Emerita, the question, Oscar, the answer, please. Okay. Does Lucia work at the supermarket? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does Edward work at the airport? Yes, she does. No, sorry. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes? Do you have a question? Do you have a question about the simple present? No, teacher. teacher. No questions. Okay, let me have practice then. Look at this bird. What is the meaning of this bird? There. Okay, enter person. 
Ellos tienen cinco gatos. They have they has five, five cats. Cat. Okay, they have five cats. Okay, now I want to say that they, ellos no tienen cinco gatos. Negative sentences. No, they, they haven't. Don't. They haven't. They haven't. Oh, right are you sure is they haven't? They, they is it correct? They have not. They, they have not. They have not. Is it correct? Hmm. Yeah. Don't. They doesn't have. Yes. Ah, okay. In, don't. in simple they, present tense, we need this auxiliary. They, they don't. don't. Okay. They don't they have. They don't have. They don't have. They don't have. They don't. And now, if I want to make a question. Um, do they, uh, do they have, do they have, do they have five, five cats? Cat? Okay, do they have five cats? Uh, what are the possible answers? Yes, yes, they have. Yes, they, they do, yes. Ah, no, okay. just, okay, that is the yes. answer, they, yes, they do, and they do. They, no, they, no don't. they don't. Okay, no, they don't. Excellent. Okay, now how do you say ella? Let me see. Let's change the color of this thing. Wow. Do you know the meaning of this verb? Sí. Nadar. Nadar. person? Nadar. Swim. Swim. Okay. <coughs> Swims. Excellent. Uh, how do you say ella nada todos los días in English? She swims all day. She swims every day. Every day. Okay. She swims every day. Now, negative sentences. How do you make this sentence negative? She doesn't swim. No. She doesn't. She doesn't. Ah, okay. Excellent. She doesn't. She doesn't swim every day. And the compliment every day. Every day. Every day. And he is missing here. She doesn't swim every day. Now, if I want to make a question. Does she? Does she swim every day? Does she swim every day? Every day. Okay, now it's perfect. And the possible answer? Yes, she does. Yes, yes she does. Yes. Yes, she does. No. She does. No. No, no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. And the other one is no. She does. She doesn't. She doesn't. Okay, do you have any question with this? It's a matter of practice, right? It's a matter of practice. And what's the answer for this question? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Uh, cuando se hace la forma negativa, en este ejemplo del swing, ya el verbo no lleva la, el, la S, no. Lleva el auxiliar. Ah, OK, sí, es verdad, da S. OK, OK. OK, thank you, guys. Thank you. So what is the answer for this question? What do you do? Any volunteer to answer these two questions? What do you do and where do you work? What do you do? Where do you work? Any volunteer? I am a housewife. Okay. Where do you work? I work at home, right? I work at home. Uh -huh. Okay, do you have any question about tonight's class? Teacher. Yes. Podría eh, poner la, la parte donde están las terminaciones de los verbos. La última no la pude copiar. Las terminaciones donde se convierte a S. 
Uh, y... En terceras personas. Which one? Well, don't worry, right? About that, I'm going to share the presentation with you on the WhatsApp group. You are talking yes. about this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, please uh, don't forget that if you have any question, any problem, you can write on the WhatsApp group, right? And we are going to help you. So if you have any doubt, any problem, any difficult exercise, just write on the WhatsApp group. And I'm going to be happy to help you. Uh, sometimes, right, um, you have to wait a couple of minutes, right? But we are going to help you. So write on the WhatsApp group, please, if you have any question. Uh, keep working on the platform too. Don't yes. forget about those exercises and those evaluations. So this week we have to finish section number two, section number three, and um, we can't take the meter test. Tenemos que hacer el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? During this week. So we have to work hard, right? We have to work hard on the platform in order to get the platform finished, right? So don't forget about that. Any question? Any question, Any question. Okay, thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Uh, thank you. So see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. See you tomorrow.